Hi guys, today I'm gonna do a March favorites video. As always, I'm really excited to share with you some of the products that I'm loving right now, and I think some of you will be excited because I'm only talking about hair and makeup in this particular video, which I know are favorites of lots of you. So let's get started. First up are two of my favorite products from Parlor by Jeff Chastain's new line. If you are a Birchbox fan, if you follow us on social or follow me on Instagram or anyone else who works at Birchbox, you know that the entire Birchbox staff is like over the moon about this product launch. Jeff is a celebrity hairstylist stylist in New York City. Um, he cuts my hair and lots of the other girls who work at Birchbox. When we found out that he was releasing his own line, we were all so excited because he's a friend of ours and we're such a big fan. There's many products in his line, but I wanted to show you two that I've been using the most and I'm particularly excited about. His Reworkable Hold Paste and the Moisturizing Sea Salt Spray. I'm not wearing either of these today because today I blew out my hair and curled the ends. I use both of these products when I let my hair air dry naturally with a wave and then I wanna make that wave even better. I will wash my hair, let it start to air dry, and then spray in this moisturizing sea salt spray. It adds awesome texture, awesome waves, but like the title says, it's moisturizing. So it doesn't give you that like dry, brittle feel that a lot of other sea salt sprays have. And it smells amazing. The other product in Jeff's line that I've been using a lot is the Reworkable Hold Paste. So I'll admit, when I heard the title paste, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be for me, but it's actually the perfect consistency to really add texture when I'm doing waves in my hair. If you can see sort of the weight, it's somewhere between like a heavy cream and a paste. And I use this whenever I wanna add definition to a style. So for example, today I blew out my hair, I curled the ends with a curling iron, and now I'm just gonna put this on the tips of my fingers, rub it together, and then sort of work it through the ends, keep the waves in place. Also adds shine, doesn't make it sticky, doesn't make it crunchy. I really recommend it for styling waves and other textured hairstyles. The next product I'm gonna tell you about is is a line of lipsticks that I've recently fallen in love with. So if you're a follower of mine, you know that I love my Temp2 airbrush system for applying foundation. I'm wearing it today, it gives me such a flawless finish. It's especially perfect when I'm doing videos and I know I'm gonna be in front of the lights. I recently ordered from the Birchbox shop all of Temp2's lipsticks and I've really fallen in love. Today I'm wearing Imperial Red. These lipsticks come in sort of like a long and skinny applicator. So they're really easy to apply. They're paraben free, which I'm really into because as you've heard me say before, I'm always worried that I'm actually eating like a ton of my lipstick, which can't be good for you. They come in so many beautiful colors. They're really, really creamy and matte and really long lasting. When you're applying them, you can either apply it directly or with a lipstick brush and you don't even need that much. And then you smush your lips together and it's really creamy and gives like beautiful coverage. I'm wearing Imperial Red, but there's lots of colors in the line that I love. But a couple of my favorites are Violet Storm, and also this really stunning dark color, Jet Rouge. The next product I'm gonna tell you about is something that I actually discovered really recently, even though it's been around for a long time. I wasn't sure that it was for me. I tried it, I fell in love, and it's a staple in my routine. Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer, which is one of the most famous primers, but to be totally honest with you, I wasn't using a primer under my foundation. I thought it would be too many layers and that it was too heavy. And everyone kept saying, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. I finally did, and I'm totally, totally in love. This primer feels like velvet going on your face. It's really, really smooth, really thin, and just gives you like the exact canvas you need to put on your foundation. It doesn't feel heavy. It actually feels like I'm wearing less foundation because I had the primer, so it really lays flat and I did less layers. So if you haven't tried primer before, I really recommend this one. Also, it's oil-free, so if you're worried about breaking out or complexion at all, this is a really good one for you. The last product that I'm gonna tell you about in this video that I've been using a ton lately and I'm really excited to share is Laura Geller's Balance and Brighten Foundation. This is a baked powder foundation. So this is really, really cool. Sometimes I have trouble when I'm using powders or setting powders because they get all over and loose powders just aren't my favorite thing. And so I was looking for one that I would really love. I discovered this one in the Bergerac shop, obviously, and I've been using it every day. So what's great about it is it's self-adjusting. All of them, all of the shades swirl together different colors. So there's like a pretty wide range within each one. I'm using medium. I'll apply this over my foundation with like a really bushy brush. And then I'll spray a setting mist over the whole thing. Sort of do this to my face to let it dry. And I think it's really improved how long lasting my foundation is. 
and the top layer, like I said, it just looks a lot less cakey and a lot smoother than a lot of the loose powders that I've used. That's it, these are five of my favorite products that I'm loving right now, things that I'm using all the time. Please ask me questions in the comments. That's what I'm here for, that's what makes my job so fun. I get to try everything and I just wanna help you find the right products for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that's it, I will see you next time.